That's right. Amen. And then we have Jehoshaphat, again, doing the same thing. He did that which is right in the eyes of the Lord, 1 Kings 22.43 says, and 1 Kings 22.46 says, and the remnant of the Sodomites, which remained in the days of his father Asa, he took out of the land. He ended up finishing the job that Asa didn't quite complete. He did that which was right in the eyes of the Lord. So look, this is taught in Scripture very clearly. Now I also want to be clear that it is not our jobs, and I'm not advocating to go out and start exterminating sodomites and taking the law into our own hands because that is not our job and that is not what the Bible calls for either these men that drove out the sodomites out of the land by force were kings they were in that power and had that authority to do so and I'm not going to teach completely on the authority structure that God set up, but God did set up. Romans 13 talks about the powers that be are ordained of God, and he ordained a human government to enforce the law against evildoers. And sodomites are evildoers. That's right. okay? And it is the government's responsibility and job to punish evildoers. It is not, it's, it's out of order. You're out of your realm of authority to go out and just take the law into your own hands and execute judgment and justice yourself. And the Bible is very clear on that as well. And I want to make sure I'm very clear on that also, that people don't just take what I'm saying and just run with it and saying, oh, well, I'm just going to go and do this now. Right. At all. Our fight is, our battle is a spiritual one. Now, we are going to stand in the face of physical persecution. You better believe it. But we're not going to engage in a physical battle. We're going to stand. We're not going to go on the offense, physically speaking. We go on the offense by preaching the word of God. Because you know what? That's more powerful than any sword or gun or anything else anyways. What we, what the, the victory for us would be the people's hearts and minds turning to the Lord and rejecting children of the devil. Everything else will play, it, will, will play out the way that it needs to. Shocking really shouldn't come as a surprise overall. It is a wake-up call. Okay, and people need to be aware of this, and we've been preaching about this. I've been preaching about this for years. But when things get real, it's time to really open up your eyes and see, okay, this is what you've been talking about. Yeah, that's right. This is what we need to prepare ourselves for. It, when it's abstract and everything's going great and everything's going fine and, and you're living life and, and everything's wonderful and everything's bountiful and you're being blessed, you can read about these things. But there's something missing when it's not just actually happening. You're not seeing it. That's right. Now you're starting to see it. And look, the reason why we keep preaching and warning is so that you can be prepared. So that it doesn't just come and be like, whoa, man, okay, I didn't sign up for this. I'm out of here. Which unfortunately, some, you know, some people may end up doing that. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I hope not. I pray not. Yeah. Okay. But that's the goal of the scare tactic. That's what, that's what terrorism is all about. It's trying to scare people into, into not doing something anymore. 